heard Randy take it slow this morning. There are some icy conditions popping up around the Tri-State. This is the intersection of Dorchester and Highland Avenues here in Mount Auburn. Cars were slipping and sliding up and down the hill this morning. So the icy road conditions can be deceiving and may create bigger issues on side streets, even driveways. Yeah, Andrew Setters is checking out the conditions for us in blue ash. But first, let's get to Christy Davis leading the way in Mason. Uh, Christy, what's it looking like now? Well, we're on Tylersville Road. You know, we've seen a lot of folks already heading out this morning. It's pretty busy here on this thoroughfare, and they've had a pretty good time of it. I mean, for the most part, it's just a wet road that they're dealing with this morning. But as Randy said, you don't want to be overconfident when you head out because a lot of those driveways and residential streets, and as she said, especially in more rural areas, may not have been treated before the rain and the sleet started to fall earlier this morning. So that could mean some icy conditions for folks who are heading out, you know, getting up with us now and then heading to work this morning. So you do want to be careful. The other concern, and of course we have, if you uh, look here where we're standing, is what appears to be snow. It's kind of turning into slush. It's really broken up and we can see the sidewalk a lot better now than we could actually when we first got out here this morning. But as those temperatures start to drop, you're going to see some of this uh, start to refreeze and it can be deceiving. You'll see what looks like snow on top and things you know, not too hard to walk on, and then it gets slippery, and that's when you really do have the hazard for falling down, and as we do like, you know, to laugh a little bit about people slipping and sliding, as a person who has personally had their first fall on ice, doesn't feel good, takes a long time to recover, so you don't want to have to deal with that, especially if you've got kids who walk to and from school. You want to make sure they're aware of that. Taking it slow, don't rush. Of course, you want to get out of the cold, but don't rush, because you do want to make it home safely. Now, for more on conditions throughout the tri-state, we have Andrew Sutter's leading the way in blue ash. He's got more on the conditions out that way. Andrew? Well, Christy, we are here right near Ronald Reagan Highway in the Blue Ash area, and traffic getting along just fine here on the Cross County Highway. No problems, but we are right on that line where a couple of different uh, a couple degrees difference in temperature could make a big difference in the road conditions as we go through the day. Cincinnati road crews have been out using brine and beet juice treating the streets during the overnight hours to keep them from freezing. It's not been successful everywhere. Air temperatures are above freezing, but it's been so cold uh, over some stretches of the tri state that uh, road service temperatures could still be below freezing in spots. We ran into some icy areas on side streets. Road crews in Indiana, Kentucky are throwing uh, salt to treat icy spots. Even for people comfortable uh, driving in snow, ice is another concern. That's why we saw a lot of people out hitting grocery stores yesterday to stock up. A lot of things are gone. The water's gone. A lot of the things that we actually went in for are kind of running dry. They're trying to fit, restock everything, but if you walk in, it's kind of empty in a lot of spots. Who wants to drive in this? <laughs> I almost slid just trying to get out of my parking lot just now. Like, you know. Well, the spots you may want to watch out for are bridges and overpasses. That's because those could refreeze first, especially Randy's talking about the temperatures dropping off as we go through the day. Reporting live in Blue Ash, Andrew Setters, WLWT News 5.